him! You're hurt! It is nothing. A piece of the flying machine grazed one of my... <clears throat> wings, is all. That's no grace. It looks bad. Let's get you seen to, Gwilym. You've done your bit. Thank you, Martha. But there is one more thing first. I must tell you of the Knight's Nexus. It features heavily in the memories of my kind. There can be only one Lord of Dragons, as you know. When one dies, the next inherits the knowledge of their predecessor, of all their predecessors. That knowledge now dwells within me, and I would pass it on to you. Many centuries ago, in the time before the rift between humans and fairies arose, there was a sacred spring. From that spring, true knowledge flowed. In time, there appeared one who hungered to make that knowledge theirs and theirs alone. One who would come to be known as the Knight's Nexus. But it was not merely knowledge that the Nexus craved. No, it craved much more than that. It wished to consume all things, living or otherwise. Animals died, plants withered, the seas and the skies lost their color. Humans and fairies could do nothing but await certain destruction. But then the light of salvation shone forth. Four heroes were chosen by the crystals and tasked with saving the world. They did battle with the Nexus and emerged victorious. But the Nexus could not be destroyed. Instead, the power of the crystals was used to seal it away. Peace returned to the land. But in such times as the crystals' power weakens, the Nexus threatens to rise again. And in such times, only the restoration of the crystals' power may deliver us from peril. Maintaining the crystal's power was the sacred duty of the House of Musa. We have carried out the ceremony by means of which it is restored every 200 years since time immemorial. But the crystals were stolen, and their power has since been drained. It will soon be depleted entirely. It must be replenished before it is too late. We must return to the crystal's resting place. Then climb atop my back. Let us make hay. <sighs> You're not going anywhere. Not with your wing like that. Adele is right. You must rest, Gwilym. Forgive me. There is nothing to forgive. Without your help, we would not have been able to recover the crystals at all. There is a path hidden behind a certain waterfall in Halcyonia. If we take it, we can be a muser before too long. Come along, everyone. <laughs> oh, I can hear you. Oh, yes, I can hear you. It'll be time for you to wake up soon. And when you do, we can finally get rid of all the horrible humans. So what if he gets rid of everything else as well? I've never liked this world. The sooner it's all gone, the better. <laughs> Oh, it is, isn't it? All of it! All of them! Which is why we're going to get rid of them! Every last one! Such a pretty color! I can't wait to watch it all come crashing down!
Juan Steele. Stand down, lad. We've no reason to go at one another now. I've not even got a leader left to fight for. How come you're on your own? Where did all your men go? Back home to Holograd, where they belong. And once I'd seen them safely there, I handed him a notice. You did? But the Empire must be in total chaos without you right now. Surely they need you. Without someone to guide them, there'll be another war before we know it. You're far too high an opinion of me, lad. I couldn't even guide my men to victory. No, there's only one thing I'm good for now, and that's delivering a little gift. Huh? What do you mean? Never you mind. Just remember this. Before a war can truly end, there's debts have to be settled. You're kind indeed, allowing a vanquished foe entry to your kingdom, your majesty. And kinder still, allowing that foe's men safe passage home. It was the least I could do for one so dedicated to the well-being of those in his charge. Now, what brings you here, Sir Lonsdale? I've come to repay your kindness. A laudable sentiment. And how do you propose to do so? With a gift. The gift of my head. Your head? Indeed. It's all I have left to offer. Make an example of me, Your Majesty. Appease your people. You understand well what it means to rule, and I thank you for your understanding. However, I cannot grant your wish just yet. Were I to see the blood price paid too soon, my people might think me a wild-eyed tyrant. I understand that you and Sir Sloan were once comrades in arms. Perhaps you might pay your respects at his grave before I accept your offer. Ack, it would be an honor, Your Majesty. Very good. My men will show you the way. Lonsdale? Did Sloan ever tell you how we met? Uh, no. Guess he never had the chance before he... Yeah, we were mercenaries. Same outfit. And we were rivals. More evenly matched pair you never did see. For every win, a loss. <laughs> and vice versa. 
But we stayed in touch, even after we moved on to pastures new. Last time I saw him was in a tavern somewhere. Look at us, eh? Two swords for hire, both bending the knee at last. Aye. Tis happy indeed that we have found causes for which we would gladly give our lives. Ah, oh, poppycock. I managed to wangle myself a generalship because Holograd's got no good men of its own, and you, <laughs> you're a glorified nursemaid. Ah, do not test me, Lonsdale. Princess Gloria is a girl wise beyond her years, and will make a fine ruler one day. <laughs> well, all right for some. The lad in charge around my way these days is a liability and no mistake. He's had his head turned by some brazen temptress, and now his sights are set on a prize he can't possibly win. When they say pride comes before a fall, they're speaking of this one, sure enough. And as his loyal retainer, art thou not honor bound to steer thy liege lord to less treacherous waters? Well, of course I am. But that only works if he'll listen. And I'm just a hired help. Then thou must needs redouble thine efforts, old friend. When kings err, men die. Is that not how the saying goes? Yeah, I know the saying, thank you very much. Anyway, less of the doom and gloom. Let's have a drink, shall we? Thou would fain face me in a battle of the cups, good sir. No, I would fain quench my thirst, you pillock. The only thing I'll be facing you in is a fight to put the record in my favor. I'm glad I got to come here, Sloane. I owe you an apology. If I'd listened, we'd not have had to meet again like this. When kings err, uh, men really do die. I'd hope my punishment for understanding that too late would have been to fall by your sword. But you went one better than that, didn't you, you wily old devil? And now the record's firmly in your favor. What do you mean? Well, he didn't even have to beat me himself, did he? He got you lot to do it for him. Oh, it got me right good, that did. Being clobbered by a bunch of kids he'd spent five minutes training. But if that were his last little dig, then fair play to him. We were even, me and him. As many wins as losses. But not anymore. And now that's settled, I've not much left to stick around for. I'd best be getting back to King Vernon. There will be no need for that, Sir Lonsdale. Sir Sloane's final victory was punishment enough. He was always a formidable opponent. This being so, as Lord and Regent of the Fair Realm of Halcyonia, permit me to make this proclamation. Lord Lonsdale, General of the Army of Holograd, invader and despoiler of these peaceful lands, you are hereby pardoned of all crimes. Y y Your Majesty? There is a time for vengeance, and a time for forgiveness. Now go, wherever the road may lead, and may the memory of your old friend travel with you. Oh, I... I... Thank you, Your Majesty.
Hey, Roddy. What are you doing? Oh, don't tell me you're tidying up the mess for Gentile made all by yourself. And why shouldn't I be? I have to lead by example, have I not? Working yourself into an early grave's no example to be setting. What would Lily say, eh? Ah, volunteering to help, are we, Elvis? Very kind of you. Many hands make light work and all that. Wait, I never... Ugh, me and the big mouth. Come on, surely you're not planning on leaving an old pal in the lurch? Ah, uh, fine. Let's get to it, shall we? This takes me back. We did a lot of tidying up after Fultz once upon a time, eh? After Lady Emma, you mean? Aye. She just couldn't turn the challenger down. Insisted in giving every two-bit wizard who rolled into town a shot at the title. That she did. And it was always us who had to pick up the pieces afterwards. Ah, great days. <laughs> and here we are doing it again. We never learn, do we? On the contrary, old pal. This is about not forgetting where we came from. There, all done. As near as damn it anyway. It'll do for starters. Now, I owe you something to say thanks. Ho oh, ho! The drinks are on Roddy, eh? Lead on, big man. <laughs> I think I can do a little better than that. And what exactly am I supposed to do with a ratty old bit of wall dash? You'll not be doing anything with it. I'm going to use it to make you a wand that'll help you out there on your travels. You are, eh? Ah, you're a friend indeed, Roddy. All that for little old me? No, don't get too excited just yet. I'll be needing you to gather the rest of the ingredients first. You what now? Oh, wipe that look off your face. It's just a few simple bits and bobs, that's all. First, I'll need some meadow mist. It's a plant that grows over towards Halcyonia. Then we'll be needing some cactus milk. You can find that in Savalon or thereabouts. And last but not least, a chunk of moonstone ice. Rindal's your go-to spot for that. A few simple bits? We'll have to traipse halfway around the world for that little lot. Aye, that you will. And it'll be more than worth your while, believe me. <sighs> Fine. If you reckon this wand of yours is so special, I suppose we can give it a go. I knew you'd come round soon enough. Right, I'll carry on putting things back in order here. You come and find me when you've got the goods.
Blindsided us. We gotta fall back.
Ah, there you are. Sorry, you probably had a right old nightmare hunting down that little lot, didn't you? Nightmare my foot, you patronising old goat, you. Could have done it in half the time if we'd wanted. That's the spirit. Right, let's get started, shall we? Do you remember when Vigintio first came to town? <laughs> How could I forget? I've not seen a head that inflated before or since. And he didn't let up with his big talk, even in front of Lady Emma. I knew it was going to be a set too to remember. Aye. Let us see once and for all who is the greatest sorcerer in the land. Oh, whatever nonsense he was spouting. Not that she was the slightest bit impressed. He put on a heck of a show though. Gave her a proper run for her money if I remember rightly. But she came through in the end. Pig-headed so-and-so wouldn't take no for an answer though, would he? Kept on coming back for more. Aye. I don't know about greatest sorcerer in the land, but he certainly had the thickest skin. Why was he so obsessed with winning anyway? Still puzzles me even now. The book! Look, it's... Lady Emma's funeral. So sad and Lady Emma's passing traipsing through the streets in pathetic tribute. <laughs> finally, finally, I won. Finally, I have defeated the stubborn old witch. She couldn't outwit death, but I could! <laughs> and I didn't just outwit it, I outdid it, surpassed it, became the mighty white! I have proven I am better than her! I win! I win! And now I Stunned as the undisputed wizarding champion of the world! Oh, it hurts! <laughs> but the fear of pain, the fear of death itself, I have overcome them both! I have beaten them! I have won! I have become the almighty, mighty white! I may have lost to her more than once, but only just. Every time, only just. So in a way, I mostly won every single time. And now I have the power. Power over fear. Power over death. The mighty white wins the day once and for all. Indisputably. <laughs> Perhaps I should try to calm down a little. Wait. No. What is that? Who are you? Who else revels in the passing of the cursed witch? Wait. You're... You're congratulating me? Celebrating my moment? Mantis victory! <laughs> Good! Yes, praise me! Bow before me! I am the greatest in the world! <laughs> it hurts! Hurts so! Good. Ah, ah, give me more, more, ah, 
my wounds will commemorate my victory! Yeah! They will mark me as the greatest wizard of them all! Ah, more! So he was here. He came to watch the procession. Not just to watch it, to celebrate it. He was even more twisted than we knew. How could he possibly think of that as winning? Time to pop the wall dash in. All done. Here you go, old pal. A wand imbued with a power to take down a mighty white, no less. Not to mention all the extra oomph from the other ingredients I had you gather. Well, I'll certainly not be saying no to a gift like that. Good. Just remember, don't let the power mess with your mind. If you do, you'll soon end up like Vigintio. Keep your feet on the ground and your head out of the clouds. Lady Emma's old catchphrase, eh? <laughs> Aye. I'll be sure not to let myself get carried away.
It's you! Oh, you caught me in a pickle and no mistake! Is something the matter? Aye, it's my tent! Would you look at the state of it and he's patching up pronto! <laughs> yeah, this thing has definitely seen better days. There's no way it would keep the rain out. You're not wrong there, it's useless. There's more holes than canvas. <laughs> yeah, patches alone won't fix this. You'll need some kind of oil to waterproof it. Oil, you say? What about Veronica oil? You can get it from the beasties that lurk about near town. Sounds good. I'll go fetch some. Wait, wait! There's no need to go to all that trouble on my account. A hand with a patching will be more than help enough. Seriously? It'll make all the difference. If we're doing this, let's do it right. Well, if you're sure, there should be some Veronicas over to the east. Ah, you're a gent. <laughs> My pleasure. Wait here, I'll be right back. I had no idea he was so particular about such things. Look, I want to help, but this is all a little... sudden. What's going on, Adele? Uh, this kid here says he has a job for us. Aye, that's right. I want you to go and fetch me some honey caps. They're mushrooms, and they're amazing. And I want to let my wee sister taste them. There were these two travellers who told me where they grow, but one of them got really mad when I mentioned going myself. You should have seen it. It is no place for a small child. Stay away, she said. She was so scary. But I have to let my sister try them. Which is why I need you to go and fetch them for me. Something tells me that you'll just go yourself if we don't. Hmm. Fine. We'll help you. Ha, ah, thanks. Where did they say they grew again? Oh, aye. Miasma Woods. It's off to the west there. Cool your boots, Selena. Where are we off to in such a hurry? Miasma Woods, of course. Ah, uh -huh. We ain't got no business back there, have we? Wait, you're going for the kids' sake. You and I both know how fond monsters are of honeycaps. And we both know how determined the boy was to procure some for his sister. We cannot risk him taking it upon himself to go there. <laughs> no way would he go walk about in the forest after the way you spoke to him. You scared the pants of the poor mite. Still, we cannot risk it. We should never have told him that they grew there in the first place. Hey, hey! Wait up!
Whoever told the kid not to come here by himself wasn't wrong. Yeah, better us than him for sure. So, shall we split up and go look for these mushrooms? Look, Selena, do we really have to do this? I mean, the kid didn't ask us for help or anything, and he sure as heck isn't paying us. Have you forgotten that we don't have two gold coins to rub together? And, and since when did we work for free anyhow? You saw how desperate the poor boy was to find the mushrooms for his sister. You saw the tears in his eyes. How could you possibly not want to help him? All right. All right, I get it. Good. Now, less talk, more action. <laughs> action, eh? What dirty work have you got for me this time? You think I need you? You wildly overestimate yourself. Ugh, do you ever give a straight answer to anything? I could ask you the same question. <sighs> Fine. But, but only, only for the, for the child's kid's sake. sake. Shall we? Yes, let's.
The mushrooms at last! Yeah, awesome. Just hurry up, will ya? This place is crawling with monsters. Yes, yes. Just keep watch, please. On it. Huh? What the flaming heck is that thing? Well, whatever it is, it's messing with the wrong bloke. Bring it, Drongo! There. That should be. Look out! Hmm? Dag! I'll be right. Did you get your precious mushrooms? Yes. I believe I have enough. Sweet. Then let's get the hell out of here! Wait, I... The... We appear to have made an enemy. Yeah. I guess there's only one thing for it. This won't take long. Those the mushrooms the kid was talking about? Yes, and someone appears to have picked them for us. But why would they leave them here? No idea. Still, makes our lives easier. Sure does. Let's grab them and get out of here before we upset any more big, ugly monsters. <laughs> you go. These weren't easy to get hold of. Oh, this is great! Thanks so much! I can't wait to see my wee sister's face when she tastes them for the first time. You're more than welcome. I hope she enjoys them. Oh, she will! Don't worry! Well, looks like the kid got his mushrooms. Yes, wonderful. What's the matter? What have you gone all sulky for? I am not soaking. I am perfectly fine. Look, it was my fault you dropped the mushrooms, and I'm sorry. But the kid got his hands on them in the end, and he didn't get mauled by monsters either. All's well that ends well, right? I suppose so. Hey, listen, the way you went to all that trouble for the little and not many people would have done that. You've got a good heart, kiddo. I... I... <clears throat> Enough of your nonsense, Dag. We have places to be. Hey! Wait up! <laughs> 